I decided to make my exterior east and west doors from scratch. So to do this, I used one bias stock, which I ripped down to three inches, to uh, laminate on either side of a piece of half inch AC plywood. You can see the plywood is in the center there between the one by uh, stock that's laminated on. Uh, that kick plate at the bottom is a little bit wider than three inches, but the rest of it is uh, three inches. So here I'm marking out uh, where uh, the screws are going to be to hold that one by stock onto the plywood. Um, and Claire here is helping out by uh, making exact marks where uh, the screws are going to be. There's two every approximately 24 inches, and they're set three quarters of an inch in from the edges of the, the one by. This mark here specifies where a biscuit joint is going to be. So a biscuit joint helps with the alignment and structural integrity when connecting two pieces of wood that are budding together. Um, so we're using a biscuit jointer here to cut a thin, like half oval cavity into each piece of wood at that mark. And then we're going to use a small biscuit, so basically an oval piece of wood, to go into each of those cavities that we cut out that will help join those pieces together. Uh, so here you can see those cavities, and I'm taking a biscuit right now and sticking it into one of the cavities, and you can see here how that connects together. Uh, so when we actually do this, there'll be wood glue in there. Here Claire is countersinking all of the screw marks that she made earlier. Um, these screws are going to be visible on the, each side of the door, so we want them to be countersunk so they all sit below the surface of the wood and look even and consistent throughout. Uh, so begins the lamination process. You want to use um, a generous amount of wood glue um, and put it on, just get it on liberally on the, on the wood and then spread it out with a brush or your finger so it's even throughout uh, the entire face that you're gluing. This will maximize the gluing surface and strengthen every joint. You also want to be pretty liberal when you're uh, applying glue to the butt ends of the wood where the biscuit joints are going to be. You also want to make sure to put a good amount of glue into those biscuit cavities so when you push those uh, biscuits in there the, the glue squishes out and makes a really solid connection. Make sure when you're setting the, the pieces on the plywood and to each other that you're, you're pushing really hard and you're making sure there's no gaps um, and hold it there really tight or have someone help you when you start screwing them in. Here I'm installing okay. a really inexpensive standard size pane of gl double glazed glass into the door. Um, I, the opening in the plywood was cut exactly to the dimensions of that glass and then the, it's held in with those uh, one by strips of wood there that are uh, mitered at a 45 degree angle. Uh, I'm not showing it here but the final installation will have a bead of that acrylic caulk with silicone in it to weatherproof the seal between the door and the glass. Finally, the last step is just to screw those pieces of one by that hold the glass in uh, down to the plywood, and that's it. Note that I'm not using glue here because these pieces need to be removable to take the glass out later. This is the finished door jam and stop. Uh, that stop is just uh, the same one by stock I used on the door, and you can see that little piece of weather stripping on the inside there. That's uh, just pushed into an eighth inch kerf, uh, saw blade kerf, on that stop there. And my buddy Brian was helping me uh, install the doors. Um, so we're about to hang the door on the door jam here. And you can see there's a piece of wood that we're going to be resting that door on uh, that is already measured up to basically where those hinges need to be aligned on the, the door jam. Uh, so you get those aligned, you screw them in, and you do some final adjustments uh, by planing down the door to make it fit properly um, in that door jam. I should also mention that area that's only plywood on the door is going to be filled out on either side with some sort of finish. And once you got it all aligned properly, boom, you got a door.